recognition of this fantastic event put on by Team 5803 Apex. I changed my clothes today. So I'd like to give a big round of applause for 5803 and Seattle Christian School for putting on this event. All right, so I am really excited about inviting our, or introducing our guest speaker. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, now everybody knows me as Stacy, but a few years ago in a prior life, I was Commander Stacy Irwin of the United States Navy and the Submarine Force. So a few years, a few years after uh, getting my physics degree from Washington State University, Anyone? Cougars? Anyone? All right. <laughs> a few years after getting my physics degree, I was uh, operating submarines in far-flung corners of the world, starting up, shutting down nuclear reactors, going through the periscope, operating weapon systems. It was fantastic. It was actually quite remarkable. So I know from personal experience about some of these fantastic STEM opportunities we have within the armed forces. And so our guest speaker today is going to tell us a little bit more about STEM opportunities in the armed forces, some things that maybe some of you might be interested in. Our guest is Commander Tamara Trank, Commanding Officer of Navy Recruiting District Seattle. And she's bringing a few of her staff down here to tell us a little bit about themselves. So please, let's welcome them. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Good afternoon. What an impressive event. I think you should all give yourselves a round of applause. Terrific. So as, as Stacy said, my name is Commander Tamara Trank, and I'm the commanding officer of Navy Recruiting District Seattle. My team of dedicated officer and enlisted recruiters are responsible for finding the best and the brightest throughout Washington, Northern Idaho, Montana, and Alaska for the United States Navy. I want to thank Mr. Stacy Irwin from First Washington for inviting us here today to discuss science, tech, engineering, technology, and mathematics, or STEM, and opportunities in the Navy that we can offer you. Okay. Before I get started, there's a video that uh, we're going to show. We could hit the video. Cue the video. So is everyone having fun today? <laughs> Who's going to win? Yeah, we, we all win. You know what, and now I'm inspired to go up on, the, on that podium. The Navy is more technologically sophisticated than ever before. And as you saw in the video clip, we work with some of the most awe-inspiring ships, submarines, aircraft, and communication systems in existence. We are developing unmanned vehicles and robotics that keep people out of harm's way. 
We are pioneering advances in everything from nuclear propulsion to biofuels to cybersecurity to medical research. And at the root of this cutting edge technology is a cadre of professionals with strong STEM backgrounds. I, my, I myself have a PhD in physiological science from UCLA. At the time I joined the Navy, I was actually conducting neuroscience research at the Barrow Neurological Institute in Phoenix, Arizona. And back in 1998, the Navy hired me to continue my work in the area of human performance research. So I brought some of my fellow recruiters here. I'd like for each of them to introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about their journey and their STEM backgrounds. Hey, how's everybody doing? All right, so I'm Lieutenant Anna Cornell, um, grew up in Eastern Washington. I'm a U.S. Navy Surface Warfare Officer, which is a fancy way to say that I drive ships. Uh, so give it up for ship drivers. Woo! So thank you guys, super humbled to be here. Um, I'm feeling a little intellectually incompetent. Um, so I appreciate you guys using small words around me, just a ship driver like robot, go, Xbox 360, PS4, all that I understand. Um, my hat's off to you for what you do, and thanks for having me. All right, I'm FC1 Gruel. I'm a fire controlman for the Navy. I work on CWIS. Uh, it stands for Close in Weapon System. Um, it's a six barrel, 20 millimeter Gatling gun that has a rate of fire of 4,500 rounds per minute. Equates to 75 rounds a second. So with that system, walking around, looking at what you guys do here with these robots, it, it makes me feel at home. It really does. Because, I mean, the mechanical, the software, you know, the joysticks, everything. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity, and I thank everybody uh, for allowing me to have this opportunity to be up here today. Uh, it has been wonderful, and you guys keep up the good work. Hey everyone, I'm uh, EM1 Vandenberg, uh, electrician's mate nuclear class. So I'm a nuclear engineer for the Navy. I deal with the nuclear reactor that a submarine or aircraft carrier has to offer, and I make the boat go, basically. Thank you. So as you can see, the world of STEM brings together individuals from diverse backgrounds as we continue to learn from one another and, and through collaboration and coordination with the Na in the Navy, as well as our partners of education and nonprofit communities, as you are all, all evidence today. As a microcosm of the United States, America's Navy is committed to diversity and representing all aspects of society. For example, over half of the college degrees conferred in this country go to women. And yet, women make up only 18% of the Navy ranks currently. So we are actually engaged with initiatives aimed to decrease this disparity by increasing women to at least 25% of Navy ranks. So ladies, if you, if you want a career in the Navy, do I have a deal for you? As the challenges facing our nation evolve, STEM must do the same within our Navy workplace. With a strong world-class STEM base, it will enable, enable the Navy to maintain technological superiority across its missions. The Naval STEM strategy involves student awareness and opportunities to pursue Navy STEM careers. Our goal is to inspire, engage, and educate the next generation of scientists and engineers. At the secondary educational level, the Navy STEM program fosters mentor-mentee relationships with students through Sea Perch and Robotics Clubs, just like we are today. It is remarkable to watch our sailors engage with young folks today and, and, and to see the relationships between them and how much potential there is and how much we learn from each other. Because, boy, I tell you, I, I may be teaching you something, but I've learned a heck of a lot from you today. So in short, when it comes to careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, there are exceptional possibilities in America's Navy. Those opportunities grow just as quickly as the technology changes and grows with it. STEM-related fields 
will add more than one million jobs by the year 2020. And the Navy can prepare you for that job market. So be a part of something bigger than yourself and receive all the training and experience for no cost. So you can be just out of high school and you want to earn some money for college, we have a career for you. If you want to go to college, we have ROTC scholarships worth over $200,000. It's a lot of scratch. And if you already have a degree, we need good people in the officer corps. So there's no other organization that can match the benefits that the Navy provides, nor the experience. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay, it's crunch time. This is when the scouts have done their jobs. Lions captains have had their strategy. And I'm just gonna kinda read you for the people who don't understand what's gonna happen. We're gonna have this alliance selection here. Now, teams have been scouting this for a while. There's team representatives off to my left over here. Um, but before they can start the playoff tournament, we have to create those eight three-man teams. Now, the line selection process is simple. We will create eight alliances with the first pick going to the highest team, highest ranked team. After the number one seed makes their decision, the next highest ranked team uh, makes their selection. We continue the process until all eight teams have made their first pick, and then we'll go into a second round, the eight alliances, and one backup alliances, who will have the final pick. Now, the representative of the highest ranking team on the alliance will be the alliance captain. After Alliance Captain extends the invitation to join their alliance, we'll need one more representative from the invited team to come onto the field and either accept or decline that invitation. Now, there's only one rule during this alliance selection. Now, if a team declines an invitation to be selected by an alliance, they may not be selected by another alliance. That declining team does not, however, lose their right to select if they are an alliance captain. For example, if the number one ranked team picks number two, and they decline, number two keeps their right to be an alliance captain, number one will extend the invitation to another team. If, however, number one selects number two and they accept, they will slide all the other alliance captains up one position and then move the ninth highest ranking team into that selection process. Got that? We've all seen that happen, right? Just doing my official first duties there. Okay. As always, we start from the eighth to the first. And our eighth highest ranking team, congratulations to team 2557. The Soda Bots from Tacoma School of the Arts in Tacoma, Washington. I think you're right. Okay, okay. team A will be right there. All right, please now welcome team number seven. Congratulations to team 1778. Chill out from Mount Lake Terrace High School, Mount Lake Terrace, Washington. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, let's pick team number six, the sixth seed. Congratulations to team 4450. The Olympia Robotics Federation. Featuring students from Capital, Avanti, and Olympia High Schools in Olympia, Washington. That's a great question. He's saying, what, which way we face? We've, last year, we didn't have this whole side, so let's face the cameras there. How about that? Because there's millions of people watching on the internet, right? Okay. Team number five, the fifth seed. Congratulations to team 360. The Revolution from Development Preparatory School in Tacoma, Washington. Congratulations. All right. The fourth seed, Team 5827. Code Purple from Lake Washington High School in Kirkland, Washington. Let's come on over here. We're going to put number four over here so you kind of make a U. I'll make that way. All right. Now, the number three seed, 
Congratulations to Team 5803. Your host for Peak Performance, Apex Robotics from Seattle Christian Schools, SeaTac, Washington. Come on right over here. Congratulations. Our second seed team is Team 1318. The Issaquah Robotic Society from Issaquah High School in Issaquah, Washington. Congratulations. And now our number one overall seed for our playoffs, Team 3663. CPR. Cedar Park Robotics is from Cedar Park Christian Schools in Bothell, Washington. Founded in 2011, this is their seventh season competing with first. Congratulations. Let me get the microphone here. See if it's working? Okay, great. Now here comes your big moment. You ready? Uh, as the first seed, which team would you like to select first? Uh, team 3663 would like to invite Team 3238. Team 3238 are the Cyborg Ferrets from Anacortes High School in Anacortes, Washington. All right, first team selected. How do you, what do you have to say to that? Team 3238 would like to accept. All right. <laughs> Moving on to our second seed. You're up. Okay. Team 1318 would like to graciously invite Team 5803 to join our alliance. Team 5803. Our third seed. I'm going to turn around right here. Now, what would you like to do? Would you like to accept or remain a captain or alliance? Team 5803 would like to accept your gracious offer. All right. So that means everybody moves up a spot. Everybody move up one spot right here. And Eric, who do we have as our ninth seed? Our new number eight alliance captain, Team 948, NRG, the Newport Robotics Group, Newport Senior High School, Bellevue, Washington. Okay, Team 5827 was our fourth seed, and now you're the third. Yep. Team 5827 would like to graciously invite Team 2471. 2471. 2471. Team 2471 is Team Mean Machine from Camas, Washougal, and Hawkinson High Schools in Camas, Washington. Come on over here. Team 2471 would graciously like to accept. All right. Congratulations. All right, moving on to our fourth seed. Who's your selection? Uh, team 360 would like to invite Team 2557. 2557, the Soda Box. Okay, you have a choice. You can accept or remain as an Alliance captain. What do you say? Team 2557 graciously accepts. Okay. Which means we need another team to be added to our eight uh, Our teams. new number eight alliance captain, please welcome to the field Team 4681, Murphy's Law from Archbishop Murphy High School in Everett. All right. With our fifth seed, Alliance Captain, what do you have to say? Uh, team 4450 would like to graciously invite Team 1778 to our alliance. 1778, right next door. Now you have a choice to make. Team 1778 would like to graciously accept your offer. All right. Picking off those Alliance Captains. Eric, do we have another team to add? Bare Metal, come on town, Team 2046 from Maple Valley's Tahoma Senior High School is our new number eight alliance cap. Okay, for a uh, sixth alliance captain, what's your team? Uh, we're Team 948, and we would uh, like to invite Team uh, Lion Robotics 2907 
2907. From Auburn Mountain View High School in Auburn, Washington, Lion Robotics. In your answer? Team 2907 graciously accepts. All right. Okay, Murphy's Law, you're up. Which team? Team 4681 would like to graciously invite Team 4469 into our alliance. Team 4469 is Raid, Raider Artificial Intelligence Division from Thomas Jefferson High School in Federal Way. Team 4469 graciously accepts. All right. Moving right on. Come on over here, Bad Metal. Get everybody here. Okay. Last but not least, what is your selection? Uh, team 2046 would like to invite Team 2910 to join their alliance. 2910. Jack and the Bot from Henry M. Jackson High School in Bothell, Washington. Yeah. Team 2910 graciously accepts. Okay. And now we reverse order, but Bare Metal gets another pick. You go. You phoning a friend here? What is that? Okay. No, they're phoning me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lifeline. Okay. Here we go. Your next pick. Uh, team 2046 would like to invite Team 2930 to join their alliance. 2930. The Sonic Squirrels from Glacier Peak High School in Snohomish, Washington. Team 2930 graciously accepts. All right, squirrels and bears. There we go. Okay, Murphy, you're up. Your next pick. Team 4681 would like to graciously invite Team 5588 into our alliance. 5588. Rain Robotics from Holy Names Academy in Seattle, Washington. Team 5588 graciously accepts. Okay, Newport High, she's checking, this is the new lifeline. You remember you used to be able to phone call, you know, I want a millionaire, now it's all Twitter and text. Actually, we've got the new lifeline is gonna be over there on the board. If they need help, we can put the available teams up on the board for you. Oh, there they are, over here on that board. Do you need that? But you think you've got your selection, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, team 948 and team 2907 would graciously invite team um, 2990. 2990. Hotwire. Hotwire Robotics is from Turner, Oregon. Team 2990 graciously accepts. All right. Okay, Olympia. State Capitol, lots of decisions made there. Here's another big decision. Uh, team 4450 and Team uh, 1778 would like to graciously invite Team 1294. Uh, 1294. <laughs> team 1294 is Top Gun from East Lake High School in Sammamish, Washington. Top Gun. Team 1294 graciously accepts. All right. Coming down to our fourth seeded alliance. You ready? Okay. What's your pick? Team 360 and Team 2557 graciously invite Team 2811. 2811! The Stormbots from Skyview High School in Vancouver, Washington. Team 2811 graciously accepts. Okay. And this team is uh, going through the list here, cracking the numbers, seeing which team's been naughty or nice. They've all been pretty nice. Let's do a little behind the scenes here. They're looking at team number, it starts with a six. No, now it's scratched off. It starts with a one. Oh, it's scratched off again. It starts with a three. It starts off the two. Oh, gosh. It starts with either They're a two, some a four, here. or a six. Trust me. <laughs> Team 
Should I start the Jeopardy song now? Uh, you know what? Let's go, we'll go for okay, here we go. Okay, you ready? Okay, let it go. Team uh, 5827 and Team Mean Machine would like to graciously invite Team, what was it? Shoot, I just lost it. <laughs> here we go. 4681 to join our 4681. 4681. Team 4681 is the captain of the number picked? seven alliance. Have they already been in the team? Are they already on team? 4681. I guess they're already on team. Are you guys? Oh, look at that number, it's up there. See, 4681 is not up there. I know, it's kind of hard to see with these safety glasses on there. I know. You want me to just give you a number? <laughs> I'll double check your number before you say it. How about that? You know, it really sucks getting old with gray hair and you can't read that anymore. The eye chart, that's a new eye chart for the uh, robotics. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, okay, here we go. We got one, and it's on the board. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Let's try. Let's give it a roar. Let's see if they, right. they say yay. Team 5827 and Team Mean Machine would like to graciously invite Team 2522 to join our alliance. 2522! Royal Robotics from Linwood High School in Linwood, Washington. Where are you? Team 2522 graciously accepts. All right, coming down to it. You guys ready? You got just those numbers up there. You can't make them up. Okay, all right, here we go. Team 1318 and Team 5803 would like to graciously invite Team 4077 to join our alliance. 4077. MASH from Edmonds Woodway High School in Edmonds, Washington. Team 4077 graciously accepts. All right. And our final pick, and because of you know, all the teams that we have here, and we have eight alliance teams, we're not going to pick an alternate. Is that correct? Because we just have the four teams left. And they'll be back up? The remaining teams who are not chosen will speak to our FDA immediately after we pick our remaining seed, verify that they're available to be used as backups, and they'll be called to the field as needed. Okay. But don't pack up anybody. All right. You ready? Oh, tough decision again. Let's see, what other hold music? We know the Jeopardy music. What other hold music is there? Da -na, da -na, da -na. On behalf of Team 3663 and 3238, we would like to invite Team 6343. 6343. Steel Ridge Robotics from Richfield High School in Ridgefield, Washington. Uh, we would like to graciously accept. Okay, there we have our first line alliances. One through eight, everybody give them applause. And how it'll work now if a team backs out from my understanding if a team can't make, a, a, a robot can't make it to the field, the rank, how those teams are ranked will be the next up in that, in that particular alliance. Okay, teams, go to your robots and we'll get going in just a few minutes here. Hold on. Oh. Don't stop. Hold on just a moment. Alliance captains, it is now time to meet with your head referees okay. to get your timeout coupons, your backup coupons, and go over the tournament rules for our, or for our playoff tournament. Everybody else, 
You're free to go. We will start our elimination tournament at 2.15. If you're in the first match, we need you here at 2.10 to be able to be on the field by 2.10 so we can run the first match of quarterfinals at 2.15.